All right, welcome back to another unboxing video. This is pretty much going to wrap up the Sword Art Online unboxing videos for a while. And before we get into this box from Right Stuff that came in today, which is the fourth and final limited edition Blu-ray box set for the series, um, any of you can go back to my previous videos like the J-Box video to see the Asana Viginette unboxing and also the uh, Asana's Cookie or um, Asana's Cookbook unboxing and of course then we also had the uh, plushy unboxings I don't remember exactly but I will try to make sure I post links for those and also the unboxings for the first and second and the third limited edition blu-rays and also of course uh, not pictured in this would be the milano pillow unboxing for the asana pillow and the other side which of course yeah the booby pillow which has made its way into <laughs> into a few of my videos as well but like i said this will kind of wrap things up for now with the fourth and final Blu-ray limited edition box set. Of course, there's always the possibility of more little um, things such as a Viginette figure that I may get in the future and, uh, you know, might add to this. But uh, otherwise, this will be it for Sword Art Online for me for a little while as far as unboxing videos. So we'll cut into the box that came in from the right stuff today. Invoice and a little disappointed, no uh, bonus sticky notes this time, but oh well, what do you do? All right. We'll take a look at the final box, and let me go ahead and turn off the light for a little bit here, so this can better focus on the box and our spine. And yes, the uh, hopefully the. Uh, notes on the back will come out easily once again without destroying the box here when we cut into it. Right. And I believe the bonus on this one is more directors interview discs. Yeah, English cast interviews I see from uh, the spine on one of the gem cases here so go ahead and get into our wrap and our of course our proof of purchase woohoo proof that you spent way too much on something from anaplex of america all right, and we'll brush off the little glue goobers there. <laughs> this is a way to put it. And make sure we can get the uh, focus, because uh, for some reason, camera doesn't really want to focus on the uh, blue on silver all that well. So, of course, Fairy Dance Part 2. And one more look at the front. How many times can you say limited edition Blu-ray box on each box? And of course the final side here, which, there we go. All right. And 
once again, comment card. Comment. Your shit is too expensive. We want to hear from you. Price. One. Poor. I wonder how many of these have gotten. Hopefully a lot of you are turning in that uh, number one poor rating to these people. Although, to be honest, yeah, uh, if you're uh, mailing these in, I don't know if it's even worth the stamp. I'm trying to see if, uh, you know, I've never actually looked at these, so it doesn't look like they give you a web address really to go in like uh, Funimation has Funimation.com slash survey or backslash survey so oh let's see here sorry I got off on another train of thought okay so here we have the final collector's card I'm gonna adjust my camera a little bit for comfort because I'm having to crane my neck to see the screen there we go. Our fourth and final trading card. Kirito's Strong Bond. And of course the Fate Zero cards also now on sale. And here's the last pack of postcards. into these. <laughs> That's funny, I just noticed this right here where it says not for sale. If they were for sale, what do you think they'd charge for these? About five bucks a piece, knowing Scamaplex? Sorry, Scamaplex. <laughs> Kind of odd again to see Asna in the uh, clothing from the SAO arc and next to Leafa from the uh, fairy dance arc. Yeah. And then we go to Asna in her garb that she wore in the fairy dance arc. Oh, thank you for watching! Thank you for paying $360 to watch this on Blu-ray and get some postcards and some illustration booklets and a couple CDs and some cast interview stuff. Scamaplex, thanks you so much for putting all your money into this. Oh, I really gotta, I really gotta stop saying this. All right, and we'll do a quick flip here through the final illustration booklet that's included. And let me see the best way to aim this so I don't get too much glare. Uh, I think that's going to have to work. final episode listings for discs one and discs two and the included DVD disc three English cast interviews and 
And finally, going into the last couple gem cases here. Have the outside liner. And inside liner art. Two discs, Blu-ray disc one for set four, and Blu-ray disc two for set four, and then our English cast interviews. Liner and English cast interviews Bryce Pappenbrook, Jeremy Lee, Cassandra Lee Morris, Stephanie Shea. Or is it Shea? I think it's Shea. I could be wrong. I definitely could be wrong. Todd Habercorn and Alex Von David. Our inside artwork. And a pretty bland, drab looking DVD third disc in the set, the bonus disc English Cast Interviews. All right, so once again, that's going to wrap things up for Sword Art Online for a while, for me anyway. Uh, before I go, though, and just to let you know, I did get from Amazon today also, and I will eventually do a proper unboxing on these, but my limited edition um, Collector's Box 2 came in for the Guinean release of Heat Guy J., so, like I said, eventually, although from what I've heard, this isn't like the most acclaimed or the best anime series out there. But since Right Stuff had the first one on sale for like five bucks, I decided to go ahead and jump onto Amazon and find the second box so I could get both collector's releases to get a full collection. And so, between that, and that and this and this we have seven discs and a couple extra discs because I had to do some rebuys here and there but uh, yeah so all this put together will be the Genian full double limited edition set for the anime Heat Guy J which uh, like I said before I just did a blind buy in this. I haven't really looked up to see what it's about. So after I have a chance to do a little bit of research, I want to do a proper unboxing video of this sometime later on when I have the chance to do it and a little extra time in my hands to do so. But otherwise, this will once again wrap up the unboxings for a bit. And thanks once again for tuning in to another unboxing video. And like I said, be sure to also check out the rest of my uh, Sword Art Online, both uh, Blu-ray and merchandise unboxings, if you like. Uh, some good stuff worth uh, taking a look at. Especially, uh, I want to say, the plushes from Right Stuff both Kirito and Asuna, and then also from J-Box, the uh, Viginette statue as well. Um, definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of the series overall. Uh, of course, there's lots of other great merchandise out there too, and um, like I said, maybe uh, down the road might be picking up a few more 
different figurines as well for my collection. So, once again, thanks for tuning in. Have a great evening, and we'll see you again soon.